what's up everyone um, making this video today to talk about the 528 customs monster v3 um, I'm gonna do this video in front-facing camera mode uh, because I, I want to show a couple things um, and I want to make sure that it's at the right angle and everything so I got the monster v2 whenever it came out in January February um, wasn't a big fan of it and I found out whenever I purchased this that it wasn't the product it was me um, I was just in a in a, inexperienced and didn't know how to wick it right how to build it right So I purchased this, um, I was a little, little hesitant at first and I second thought myself gladly I did because this thing kicks ass. Um, I got it from Aurora Vape then in Haddonfield, New Jersey uh, on Haddon Ave I believe. Awesome shop. Um, but So I purchased this with the chuff kit and this thing is amazing it really is and it's amazing what how six months of vaping changes everything I mean I have not built this one time yet and had any problems with it and the flavor is just amazing vaping it at 64 watts with the v2 in the beginning I couldn't get it over 40 watts And I just can't stop building it. I really can't. Um, today I got the Copper Rig V2, and uh, with it I got the Mutation V4, another Mutation V4, uh, just because it was the only black RDA. Um, and that was the first RDA I built in probably since I got this. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna show. I'm gonna try and do it really quickly. I'm going to show some secrets on how to build this. Uh, if you have, you know, if you purchase this and have any problems, um, Thomas Starkley, the creator of 528 Customs, he puts videos on his YouTube, and there, there's other videos. Um, and if you follow him, you should have no problems with this at all. Uh, if you just you know pay attention um, so right now I have a 5 wrap 21 gauge Royal Prime in here and I mean it, it vapes really good as you see uh, around 60 to 65 watts is what I cap it at but it vapes great for a tank um, and the flavor is a million times better in my opinion than you know the pre-built coils uh, I have the smoke TF v4 have not touched it and I love that tank since I got this um, just because the flavor you know uh, my suggestion to everyone and I'm not going to be like a lot of other people and say uh, you know this tank will give you clouds like a like a dripper and and all that just do what I do you know if you want to if you want, if it's clouds and you want, it's just pick up a, a dripper. That's it. That's that's really all it comes down to. I always have a tank and, you know, I'll, I'll keep my dripper next to me just in case I want, I want something like that. But, um, yeah, this, I mean, this vapes really good at 65 watts. You know, I can crank the... TFV4 up to 100 and something, but there's really no need for it. Uh, so I'm going to throw a 26 gauge Nichrome parallel in here actually, uh, just to see how it vapes. Really, um, I've put a bunch of builds in here since I've got it, just because I'm so excited that I, you know, know how to build them now. I built the V2 and and had no problems with it and like I was pissed with the V2 because I thought 
it, you know, unfortunately, I, like an idiot, I thought it was the product, but really, it was me. It, it was me not knowing how to do it. So, whenever, there's a couple secrets to building this style deck. Whenever you put your coil in, you can actually wrap the lead all the way around the screw. Um, that's one secret. Uh, another is, hold on, let me get the actual screw. Whenever I built this. Another secret, and this is what actually was messing me up, is on all my RTAs or RBAs, whatever you want to call them. Can't get the screwdriver in. There we go. Um, in your juice wells, okay, you got your juice well right there. You want to have the cotton sitting right above that. You don't want to have any cotton in the juice well. If you have any cotton in the juice well, you will have, that's whenever you start getting dry hits and it's because it's blocking it from wicking correctly. So you want to have it sitting right above it. Um, do not have any cotton in the juice well. None. Me, I was, you know, sticking cotton in the top of the juice well and the cotton, I mean, the juice goes up the juice well, but it's only going to wick that one part and the rest of the cotton is going to be dry so it's not going to go through so um it's really it's really that simple um there's no other uh secrets to it really just make sure you're doing that follow the uh you know the videos there's millions of videos of how to do it um you can comment or you know yeah just comment if you have any questions I'll be glad to help you out um, I know whenever I first got the V2 uh, YouTube was where I tried to figure out but you just got to pay attention because um actually the creator Tom uh, posted a video with the V2 and I just didn't follow it like it was supposed to and if I would have I, I would have I, I'd like to think that I would have saved probably three four hundred dollars on sub tanks because I, I, I would have had no need for them really this you know this vape is it's the closest thing you're going to get to a dripper it really is um it's that's all it comes down to uh and I'd, I'd like to think that my reason for getting so many t sub tanks was because the fun was left out of it you know you're not building you, you don't have to wick or you know you're not tinkering with anything so it was just throw a pre-built coil in it and that's it and I was always looking for something more no matter how much vapor I was getting from it even with the TFV4 I would use it but I would find myself using my drippers a lot and that's because I feel like it, buildings a lot of the fun in vaping for me I, I mean I really enjoy you know putting builds and new things and trying new builds and Oh, that I trap my best vape I've gotten out of this so far was a eight wrap hybrid wire temp control build and it was great I took it out because uh, in my spare time I like messing with stuff and uh, I don't know if I will I, I might just throw that build back in it if this build doesn't work out I'll probably do that because it was such a great, great, you know, vape, the flavor, the, it was the warmest vape I've ever gotten out of a temp control, um, and it was awesome, so, um, 
yeah, definitely check them out. The five two way customs monster v three. Uh, it's great. You get it for like seventy five bucks, and then the tough kit's twenty five, which is great because the v two I pre ordered it. It was like a hundred and sixty bucks. So uh, you know this is sixty dollars less, and it's it's phenomenal. It really is. They you know uh, widen the airflow, widen the juice wells. Um, they the build deck seems easier to build on uh and it's just it's just great so real quick um the it's not picking it up but you see that post hole i mean that post screw you can actually wrap your lead all the way around it and then just clip it so it's not touching but i'm going to pause the video wick it real quick and then i'll show you that okay so really quick um i'm putting a new build in here and as you can see i pretty much wrapped it around the whole post and you know you want to make this as tight as a wrap around as possible and then just clip your lead because i can't do it on camera because it's like impossible to get it but just clip your lead as possible and make sure it's not touching down on this positive post after i get it wicked i'll come back all right, so I'm gonna wick it real quick uh, on camera. I got it set up so I could do that real quick. So, um, however wide your uh, coil is, you want it snug, but you don't want it like super tight. You know, um, you want it snugger than you normally would do uh, your drippers. Uh, your RDAs um, I've, I've found that Japanese cotton good old Japanese cotton is the best for this uh, I've tried like native wicks which I use in all my RDAs and everything um, but Jap cotton works the best in this so you want to twirl it through make sure this yeah there we go all right so you get your pieces through and right at the block like i said before you don't want it in the juice well you just want to cut it right at that block where your chimney screws onto So that should be good. You grab your juice, and I don't know where mine is. Dripping, of course, Death by Two Can from Major Flavor. Um, you know, juice up your cotton before you put your chimney on. Make sure that it won't go down inside the juice well, and sort of flatten it up against the deck so that way you really don't have you know a bunch of cotton that's getting shoved in the chimney it's all flattened out already so as you notice this side push down is pretty uh, too high so I'll just give it a nice little pull and that should be just right and this side is still down right above the juice ball where I want it. So just juice it up. Once again, make sure none of the cotton, ab like literally, absolutely none of the cotton gets down in the juice well. Give it a little test fire. Seems to be firing good. Get your chimney right here. I love their logo, the saber tooth or whatever. Screw it down. Give it another another test fire to make sure it's firing with the chimney. Okay. All right, and then. Screw on your tank. Now, 
I had a little bit of juice still in here which I don't really like trying to do but I wanted to get this video done so I left some juice in there and as long as it's you know below that mark where it's gonna leak through the chimney part that's fine I always give it a couple dry hits before crank it down I start off about 35 watts 36 um, whenever I'm breaking in new cotton so real quick last thing I want to say is where the juice wells are okay you'll know it's wicking by bubbles coming through them juice wells coming out of them juice wells I've had it a couple times where you know it'll come out one and not the other all I do is I take a thicker gauge like a 22 gauge wire and I'll actually stick it down and try and hook I'll, I'll make a little hook at the end of it let me see if I don't know if I normally have one. Um, but, like, just make a little hook at the end of it. Pinch it shut with your lean needle nose. Go down in there and just try and hook out any cotton that may be in the juice well. Just make sure that cotton is, you know, wicking up right and everything. Um, something I did a lot whenever I had the V2. Let me try to fix this camera. A lot whenever I had the V2 was I would do a build, fill the tank up, and then find out I'd had problems. So I wasted so much juice. So really what you want to do is you just want to just test it out you know uh, maybe fill it up a little bit with the chuff kit you can even drip right down in it that's what I love about it is if the tank empties and I don't have time to fill it up I just drip right in the chuff kit and it works fine but yeah it seems to be working fine so let's crank it up a little bit we'll go to 42 And just work your way up. Like you've seen in the beginning, I had it at 64 watts, so. On the old build. Seems to be wicking fine. I see the bubbles coming through. And every once in a while, if you want, just give it a couple... I still got vapor coming out of my mouth, but just dry, just dry hits, you know. So I put an 8 wrap uh, Royal Wire Prime, which is 21 gauges, in here. Uh, around a 2 mil bit. It's coming out to 0.13. Um, and it's vaping perfectly fine I, I really they knocked it out of the park with this they really did a great job um, it's handled every build I've thrown its way uh, I've seen some crazy builds some fuse clappings and everything so definitely guys I would definitely recommend this the monster v3 from 528 customs um, check them out and once again, if you have any questions, uh, leave a comment, or um, you can actually send me an email at njvapor856 at gmail.com. I'll check you guys out. Peace.